For those who take it seriously, it's clear that treasure hunting is kind of a gamble. You know, you can win big, but you can also lose a lot. But there are people who can't help but envy for. People who stumble upon a fortune without even trying. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On today's episode, we're listing down the top 10 luckiest finds that have made ordinary people extremely rich. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more spine-tingling videos. On one of our previous episodes, we talked about some of the most astonishing archaeological finds in history. From mummies and tombs to entire cities that have been buried for centuries. This time, we're looking at some of the most valuable treasures that people stumbled upon completely by accident. And when we say valuable, we mean that quite literally. Like, really, some of these folks became millionaires overnight. Now, that's the kind of luck we all need right now. Starting off at number 10, Magnolias on Gold Velvet Cloth. In June 1999, the art community was surprised to learn of the existence of a still-life painting from the 19th century American painter Martin Johnson Heed. The painting, Magnolias on Gold Velvet Cloth, was bought by a man from Indiana at a rummage sale. For about a decade, the painting hung in his house to cover a hole in the wall. He only learned about the value of the painting one day while playing Masterpiece, a board game about art, where he saw an image of a similar-looking piece. The Museum of Fine Arts in Houston then bought the painting from him for $1.25 million. At number 9, a penny from 1974. Randall Lawrence, a man from San Diego, California, inherited a lunchbox full of coins from his father. A part of this collection was a 1974 aluminum coin. At first, he was told that the penny was worth $300 chops. After further investigation, they realized that it was one of the only 10 such coins ever issued, giving it a $2 million price tag. This calls for a drink, which brings us to our next lucky find. At number 8, Whiskey from 1917. When Brian Fight decided to do a bit of home improvement in the attic to save money, he had no clue he was about to find treasure in liquid gold. Beneath the floorboards of his home in St. Joseph, Missouri, he found 13 bottles of century-old whiskey. All bottled in 1917, the collection included four bottles of what may very well be the last of Hellman's celebrated Old Crow Whiskey. Experts estimate the collection to sum up to a shocking $2.6 million. Brian, however, declared that he plans to drink the whiskey with his friends rather than sell them. His smile was one of those rare smiles that you make. Next up at number seven, the Hawk's Hoard. After losing his hammer in a field, British farmer Peter Watling asked his friend Eric Laws to help him find it. They never did find the hammer. Instead, using Eric's homemade metal detector, they found a wooden box filled with jewelry and over 14,000 ancient Roman coins. The collection, which archaeologists call the Hawk's Hoard, was valued at about $15 million. The British Museum bought the collection from the two friends for $2.7 million. Moving on to number 6, the Royal One. Because of their rarity and extraordinary play of colors, black opals are the most desired and valuable opals in the world. Valued at a whopping $3 million, the Royal One is by far the most precious black opal ever discovered. It finally went on sale in Las Vegas last 2013. 14 years after one lucky miner from Australia finally decided to sell it. The miner was collecting ordinary stones when he noticed the big sparkling stone at the bottom of his bucket. He took it home as a souvenir, unaware that it would later bring him fortune. Halfway through the list, and we can't help but wish that some kind of treasure also just falls right into our laps. Or maybe, we also have to create our own luck, just like this next guy. At number 5, the Middleham Jewel. 
This lozenge-shaped gold pendant boasts a large blue sapphire stone and an engraving of a religious scene. Believed to be a high-status item that may have been owned by a relative of King Richard III, it has been suggested that the sapphire may have been set into the pendant for magical or medicinal reasons, possibly a charm against epilepsy or to assist in childbirth. It was found by a lucky treasure hunter in 1985 while metal detecting near Richard III's Middleham Castle. It is now kept in the Yorkshire Museum, which bought the famous pendant for $4 million. Next up at number 4, a figurine ordered by Nicholas II. In 2013, George and Batty Davis were cleaning up the attic in their upstate New York residence when they discovered a figurine that they suspected was valuable. They didn't realize just how right they were until they decided to have it seen by experts, who later had the item auctioned with a starting bid of $500,000. The figurine, designed by Russian jeweler Fabergé as ordered by Russian Tsar Nicholas II, was so incredibly rare that it sold for a final bid of $5.2 million. Damn! In the mood yet to start cleaning up your attic? How about your backyard, like they did on our next item? At number 3, Buried Gold Coins You know how they say the road to riches is never straight and narrow? For one Northern California couple, this turned out to be literally true as they uncovered a hidden treasure trove in their own property while merely walking their dog around it. The couple had long noticed an old can sticking up from the ground but had always assumed it was merely for putting flowers for a gravesite. Their curiosity finally got the better of them. They started doing a little digging and, to their shock, founded it more than 1,400 gold coins, minted mostly from 1847 to 1894. The most valuable of the coins was an 1866-S No Motto Double Eagle that was worth a million dollars apiece. Overall, the collection they unearthed was valued at about $10 million. Wow. And number two, the Breaking Home Ties painting. In 2006, an amazing discovery was made that shocked art enthusiasts and brothers Dave and Don Jr., sons of the late cartoonist Don Trocta. Trocta bought the famous painting from Rockwell himself in 1960 for $900. He later sold it to the Norman Rockwell Museum, which had no idea that the piece they had been exhibiting for the longest time had been a fake. In fact, no one from the art community knew of the deception until after Trachna died and his sons discovered the original painting hidden behind a wall that slid sideways to reveal a secret compartment. The sons then put it up for auction and became $15.4 million richer for it. Before we get to the number one item on this list, here's a quick honorable mention. 1.8 million dollar shares in coca-cola in 2008 a man was fairly certain he got lucky hen when he bought a box of old documents at a garage sale for five dollars in it he found an old certificate for 1625 shares in palmer union oil after tracing the certificate to Coca-Cola, it turns out that the certificate gives Marin ownership over 1.8 million Coca-Cola shares, valued at $130 million. Unfortunately, Tony died in 2010 in the middle of his legal battle with the Multinational Beverage Corporation, which states that Tony's claims are meritless and unfair to its legitimate shareholders. And our luckiest find yet, at number one, the world's largest pearl. In August 2016, an unusually shaped gigantic pearl was discovered in the Philippines after a fisherman handed it over to the authorities. Confirmed to have come from a giant clam in the waters of Palawan, this pearl is one foot in width, is more than two feet long, and weighs a staggering 34 kilograms. More than a decade ago, a Filipino fisherman who refuses to be identified 
found his irregular shaped pearl while out fishing with his father and brothers. They then kept it in a bag and hid it under their bed. For more than 10 years, they have kept it there as a lucky charm, rubbing it with their hands before going out to the sea. Believed to be the biggest pearl in the world, this pearl has been valued at anywhere between $35 million to $100 million. The fisherman, however, insists that he's never intended to sell it. We're curious to know what would you do if you ever stumble upon any of these amazing items that's worth a fortune? Would you sell it or keep it? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit that bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.